My dear friends, uh, I am Father Christian Tavares, a pastor of St. Elizabeth of Hungary Parish in San Francisco Brini Parish, Reese in Vassar, Michigan, and I am also a, the vicar for the Hispanics in the Diocese of Saginaw. Today I want to share with you a message in these, the days of the coronavirus, COVID-19. We are facing difficult times. Not only our bodies uh, seem to be endangered by the novel virus, but also our minds, hearts, and souls seem to be threatened by its effects. We are continuously bombarded with so many news, information, and even misinformation. We barely can digest and process all of it. It seems that the more we know, the less we understand what it is, what we are truly coping with. Therefore, we begin to experience confusion and anxiety in our minds, while anxiety, fears, try to make a dwelling place in our hearts. Then our souls may begin to be tempted by doubts, as well as by feelings of desolation and hopelessness. Everyone seems to be concerned about finding ways to not only keep our bodies healthy and protected from the virus, but also to advertise all of this. Praise be the Lord for the many efforts that have been done and continue to be done uh, in this direction by a countless number of government leaders, church leaders, organizations, and individuals across the world. We need to start also caring for the emotional and mental well-being of one another. As we practice social distancing, and are forced to spend more time in quarantine at our homes, we have a precious opportunity to not only reconnect with our inner selves, but also with those we love. We can use this time of confinement to rebuild the fabric of relationships with those around us, family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, classmates. We might use this time to become the best companions on the journey we can be. We can do this by listening, comforting, uplifting, and encouraging one another as we creatively use the different and diverse means of communication available to us. Above all, our daily behavior guided by the perennial values of charity, solidarity, mercy, compassion, and respect for one another are the best mental and emotional antivirus we can give to each other. We must not stop caring for our spiritual well-being. We are called to reconnect with God and strengthen our relationship with Him. There may be more time available to us, individuals and families, for prayer, reading of the sacred scriptures, and meditation. We may find ourselves provided with diverse and plenty of spiritual resources that can help us to grow in faith, hope, and love within the walls of the domestic church, which lives and serves in our own homes. We can do this. In the seclusion of our homes, we need to reach out to the whole world through our untiring prayer for healing, comfort, courage, wisdom, joy, peace, and serenity. Let's never forget that trusting God and prayer are the most effective remedies we can use to counteract the spiritual side effects of this present crisis. 
Now, we have a taste of the experience of thousands of brothers and sisters who are regularly prevented from public celebration of their faith. Let's allow these unfortunate circumstances we are dealing with to increase our hunger and thirst for God. And not only for God, but also for the sacramental life of the Church through which God offers us overabundance of blessings and gifts. Then, when we again have the opportunity to come together and celebrate our sacramental life as a community, we may do it eagerly, joyfully, consciously, and regularly. I humbly call upon all of us to remain faithful, hopeful, loving, prayerful, and respectful. Let's pray with the psalmist. I love the Lord, who listened to my voice in supplication, who turned an ear to me on the day I called. I was caught by cords of death, the snares of Sheol had seized me. I felt agony and dread. Then I called on the name of the Lord, O Lord, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord protects the simple. I was helpless, but he saved me. I extend to all of you my prayers, my blessings, and I invite you to let's reconnect with ourselves, with God, and with one another in these the times of the coronavirus. God bless you.